is Will Stone, I'm here with the MakerBot Replicator Dual version 1.0, the Replicator 2, and the Solid Doodle, the $499 printer. Um, so my Replicator 2 has been out of commission uh, pretty much since I got it. Um, had nothing but problems with it, from clogs and jams to uh, prints not sticking to the platform. So mostly just clogs and jams, um, and filament coming out really weird from the from the jam, and just all around problems. Um, the first replicator I've had uh, a lot of success with, um, but recently I've had trouble with prints sticking to the platform. So I just uh, took apart the platform and replaced um, the top with glass. Um, see if I could get that to work. This print doesn't look like it's working. I'm going to try heating the glass and seeing. But uh, the solid doodle has been working beautifully. Um, it, it stuck PLA to the captain tape uh, somehow, the first few prints, then it stopped. So I put down this cheap blue tape. It was the cheapest I could find on Amazon because the good 3M stuff is too uh, non-stick and it doesn't work. So right now this seems to work. I'm skeptical because I couldn't get this blue tape to work on these other guys, but uh, yeah, I've been really impressed with this thing. Um, in a lot of ways it's, it's better and easier to use than these more expensive replicators um, because the software to control it, um, while it's less intuitive, is actually more flexible. So I can set the temperatures really easily, control it all right here. And I know you can do that with Replicator G, but um, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, and with MakerWare, the new software, you can't even do it at all. Um, to my knowledge, anyway. Uh, a pre There's no preheat. So it takes a lot longer to print something um, with this guy than it does with uh, our little solid doodle friend here. Um, so I put it in, in this IKEA $50 cabinet the spool of PLA is actually up there. It's feeding down um, in here to behind the case. And I used a little plastic tubing piece that's fed through the back. And my tape came off, but it still seems to be working. Um, and uh, so it's nice and contained. And you can close this guy. And it uh, cancels out most of the noise. And then I've got my other spools down here. Um, but yeah, I've, I've just been having nothing but trouble with, with my replicators. It's very sad. Anyway, um, I've been getting more orders on my 3D printing site where I put some of my hobbies. Like this is a cell phone case that you can put NFC in. Um, and I just have a lot of like random other projects um, that I do. So, there's a PA flashlight holder. Super. Um, my toilet uh, flusher broke the other day, so I designed a new one, and that one's printing now. But anyway, um, yeah, hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Sorry for the rant.